Didn't really know exactly why. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to get a normal job, but before I get a normal job, I'm just going to try and write a book, because that's really what I want to do. I, I lost my hair very young, so suddenly, when I was 20, I lost all my hair. So suddenly I looked like an old man, and it made me think about death, and it made me think, whoa, you know, I, I, was, I no longer felt 20, I, I suddenly felt 45, because all my hair had fallen out. It was really weird. So it made me more, more serious, and I thought, okay, well, given that life is short and already, I've kind of like jumped ahead, like, what am I gonna do? So I thought, I really wanna write a book. So I wrote my first book, which was a book analyzing love. It was called Essays in Love. And look, frankly, I didn't quite know what I was doing. I was just led by instinct and you know, hard work. And this book became a big bestseller for me. And it was a great surprise. Suddenly I was 22, and well, you know, this looked kind of serious. And um, it was the beginning of a strange career, you know, where I've just um, made it up. Alain de Botton is a philosopher who thinks modern philosophy doesn't answer life's big questions. He wants to go back to the days when philosophers helped people and governments. He grew up in wealthy Switzerland, but noticed people still struggled with emotional problems, like high suicide rates and anxiety. He wanted to understand these issues, not get a typical job. He thought about becoming a professor, but the academic world's lack of focus on beauty and style turned him off. This led him to writing books instead, where he could explore emotions in his own way. Inspired by this video, you would find new and expressive ways to use the words you already know to explore your thoughts. We find that people have really two problems when they come from the members of the general public, uh, relationships and work. And what goes wrong in relationships is they either can't find someone or the person that they're with, they can't be happy with them. And um, this is because of an overwhelming idea in the world that it's easy to find love and it's easy to make relationships work. It isn't, it needs a lot of skills, a lot of patience, a lot of, a, a, a lot of an awareness that you're you know, dealing with something that's much more complicated than learning to play the violin. You would never pick up the violin and go, ooh, I can't play, what's wrong with my violin, I'll get another violin. It's like, no, you know, try and figure out how this thing works. In love, I think the real challenge in love... Reading practice for speaking. Read silently or aloud, as if you were telling it to someone else. Audio will be without repetition, with a brief pause between each chunk or sentence. We find that people have really two problems. When they come from members of the general public. Relationships and work. And what goes wrong in relationships?
is they either can't find someone. Or the person they're with. They can't be happy with them. And this is because of an overwhelming idea in the world. That it's easy to find love. And it's easy to make relationships work. It isn't. It needs a lot of skills, a lot of patience, a lot of awareness. That you're dealing with something. That's much more complicated than learning to play the violin. You would never pick up a violin and go. I can't play. What's wrong with my violin? I'll get another violin. No. Try and figure out how this thing works. Try and figure out how this thing works. In love, I think the real challenge in love is to uh, find another person who you admire and need. And the reason that you need them is that they bring you things that you are not capable of uh, and that you like. Uh, and even better, they like you and you don't have an impulse to destroy them uh, and they don't have an impulse to destroy you. The impulse to destroy being very strong in love there's some, for all sorts of reasons, we are very destructive around the people that we feel strongest about. Um, these are very, very high. In love, I think the real challenge is to find another person who you admire and need. and the reason that you need them. Is that they bring you things that you are not capable of and that you like. And, even better, they like you and you don't have an impulse to destroy them. And they don't have an impulse to destroy you. The impulse to destroy being very strong in love. There are some, for all sorts of reasons, we are very destructive around the people.
that we feel strongest about. Feel strongest about. Um, these are very, very high ambitions indeed. Um, we will fail by definition in some areas. Uh, religion, the Christian church, used to have a very beautiful idea that human beings are all broken and we need God to complete us and to heal us and we need His mercy and forgiveness. I'm a secular Jew, I believe none of it, but I love this language because. I need it in my own life, and I recognize that other people need it. We all need forgiveness and help with the broken bits of us. These are very, very high ambitions indeed. We will fail, by definition, in some areas. Religion, the Christian church used to have a very beautiful idea. That human beings are all broken. and we need God to complete us and to heal us. And we need His mercy and forgiveness. I'm a secular Jew, I believe none of it. But I love this language. Because I need it in my own life. And I recognize that other people need it. We all need forgiveness and help with the broken bits of us.